So, I'm gonna look at this Final Fantasy raid. This is one of the bosses. I got linked this by one of my friends. He plays a lot of Final Fantasy. He said to check out this fight. Now, I don't know if this is anything to... I mean, like I said, I'm going to be doing my story playthrough on Monday. I have no idea if, like, this is going to be in any way, like, spoilers of that or anything like that. But, yeah, this is a little CC Lemon video. This is a little little, little addition from my boy, my little Gunmetal Studios boy over there. So, um... Oh, yo, Carbuncle's in! Carbuncle's in this fight. We got a summoner. Okay, which one's the summoner? Is it this guy? Le Leona Woodhunter. Maybe that's them. I need to learn the icons a bit. I don't... I think that's a summoner. Could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so... I don't really know too much if this is going to be like a spoiler or something like that. But I'm sure by the time I get to it, it I'll I'll forget. Like, I'm not going to remember but all, all this stuff. But I do just want to look a little bit at some of the fights. And see if I can kind of understand what's going on a bit, you know. Uh, oh, it's Orpheus Rays at the bottom of the party list. Oh, okay. I would have assumed the little staff. But maybe that makes sense. You got two tanks, two healers, four DPS. Actually, just thinking about it. That makes sense there. Is there anything else that I need to, like, take note of on the screen? I don't know. Right, we're going to watch this short little video, and then I'll sign up to more keys on WoW. Don't worry. I'll uh, jump onto that in a sec. But I'm, I'm going to watch a little bit of this. So, this I recognize. I did I did actually do some casting for the second ever Final Fantasy-like ra uh, raid of the, of the Ultimates, I think they are. The ultimates, I think they were. Um, so I, I did do that. That was for... can't remember which raid it was, but there was Phoenix. There was... Uh, I'm trying to think of what it was now. I can't remember. Oh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. But yeah, so I recognize... We got some markers on the floor here. Oh, we're getting straight into it. Okay. Now, something interesting with Final Fantasy bosses, and I kind of know this, again, I've seen some friends play some raids and stuff that when they've been trying to get me into the game previously, and I know that with some of the bosses, the way that they are positioned, like, if they, like, raise their arm, that means that a mechanic is going to happen on that side of the of the map, or that side of, like, the, the, the board. So, yeah, yeah, man, I'm starting on Monday. Yeah, 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 starting on Monday. So I know that that's like a thing if they so I'm trying to look at the boss for animations but also okay we got two big old boulders coming in here I assume that you don't want to be standing in those two quadrants of the board Oh no that's go that, that's leaving Yeah okay cool Now he's facing that way so we want to move yes Yo, I'm in gaming! Okay, I'm gonna be a Final Fantasy Pro, are you kidding me? That's the hard bit though, though, right? Like, that's the hard bit right there. Okay, so you're watching. This is where, like, it just comes with the experience, right? So he does, he faces this way and he does this mechanic. So I dodge that one. But then, the dodging of the second one, you just, I wouldn't know. This guy kind of looks like Arthas, actually. He looks like, uh, the Lich King. Okay, no, now he doesn't. He did, he did when I, when he had his back to me. Yeah, the music in Final Fantasy is insane. The fact that they've got Dawn Trail coming out next year, like, I want to be ready for Dawn Trail, because going into a new expansion with the new story for everyone all together, all the graphics updates and all that kind of stuff, looks really, really sick. Like, that just seems awesome. I, I watched the Yoshi P, like, keynote, and that, that was really, really cool at FanFest. Okay, so there are a bunch of, I saw, saw, like, the shades come out. So the shades come out of the boss and they fight to, like, uh, I guess cardinals here. So that's where the markers are. Okay, so we had markers originally placed for that. And maybe they are going to hit in a certain order. And that's what they're going to look to, like, move around the map based on the order. Let's see. Or you just need to dodge entirely. No, yet. Yeah, they're doing it in an order. Okay, huge. This reminds me of, um, this reminds me of Vault of the Wardens, where the, the, the last boss with the gates and stuff, and you have to position around. No, no, I played some the other night, Desperia. Played some TFT the other night, yeah. I'm playing it casually. Right, he's gonna do the half circle again. Yep. 
This looks disgusting. The style of the whole game is just so gross. When, what do you mean the style of the game is so gross? Are, are you saying that because Final Fantasy isn't stylized like WoW or something, you don't like it as much? It is a game that's designed for console and PC, but I don't know. I mean, I, I think I think you can look like I can look past that for sure. Right. Okay. So these are a move out mechanic. I can't tell if it's a stack on me. I don't think so. Yeah. No one's coming to stack. Is this the? This is one of the tanks, right? That we're focused on. It could be that because their art style is very specific, where it's like it's not stylized, you know. Too colorful. The nice thing is, is you can turn down people's um, spell effects. Right, what's he doing here? I think he's just phasing, right? He's going into a new phase. His sword's getting all empowered. It looks like a new phase. The map changes. What were you saying about too, too, too colorful and too much? Okay, Dragon's gonna start doing something now. That's a voice line. I know that the voice lines matter in these boss fights. When they say something, it matters. When they say it, they mean it. Okay, little frontal. Nothing's really happening here. I guess alternating between two tank frontals. So you have the group stacked away from the two tanks, and then you have the tanks not stacked on each other. Pretty simple. Now he's gonna do something as a frontal. Yeah, so he's doing the cover the map. And now this is a stack marker, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's stacking in. Okay, I recognize that one. So you have two groups stack. What's going to happen here? Is this like a you get pushed out? These are going to push? Yeah, okay. And then I guess tanks have to, or people have to soak. That looks difficult. What the hell? How do you, how can you even tell who's going where? So I can tell that you have to soak, like, you, you're gonna have to soak these pillars. Okay, I got that now. But how can you tell who's got what? Oh, you have some people. You have some people with a 1-2, like in a yellow uh, like hexagon, right? And then you have a circle on red. So maybe the reds go to... No, red. One red goes there, one red goes there. Oh, okay, I don't think that mattered. I don't think that meant anything. I guess just four people get pushed to four corners, but how do you know? I don't get that one. That's fine. Okay. I don't understand how they know where they're getting pushed. That's fine. We still haven't used these four markers in the beginning, in the middle of the room, though. I'm, I'm interested what that will be. So I think another thing that happens in Final Fantasy raids that's similar to WoW is that, like, in phase one of a boss and this is something that blizzard started to do more so in their raids i think recently especially in dragonflight is that they do phase one will be like the simple form of the boss and the mechanics phase two it ramps up a bit and then phase three it's like more intense that's kind of how i guess like neltheris works for example it's how sarkrath works right where you have like phase one there, there are no bombs. Phase two, there are bombs. And then phase three, there are still bombs. But like tanks have nothing to worry about. Then they have a front, then they have a bomb, then they have a frontal. Stuff like that, right? So it, it's very much like phase one, here's the introductory uh, introduction to the fight. Phase two, it's ramped up. Phase three, it's on speed. And I think they do this a lot in Final Fantasy as well, right? So they, they show you in phase one what mechanics are going to be upcoming. We're going to get another tank frontal here on this number two. Are these just, these are just markers, right? That they put on themselves, I assume. This one, two and one, two. Kind of like you would in WoW where you put a marker on people's heads, right? Because I thought that was something to do with the fight, but it wasn't. Right, we're going to stack around the room and move around, yeah? 
Move around as a unit. That was simple enough. Oh. Ah, we stack as two groups. Because it's eight players in a raid, right? Or a, a static. Bro, I've sat in Discord. By the way, what are you guys saying about too much animation? Okay, it's fine. Leave it. Don't worry about it. I've sat in Discord calls for years listening to my friends talk Final Fantasy. So... I know, I know some of the lingo, okay? Right, these are separate soaks. These are tank only. Uh, no, Speed, you just stay in cat form if you're trying to DPS. You, you can swap forms, like... So you gotta soak something, switch into bear and, like, whatever. But, like, if you're DPS and you just stay in cat form, yeah. You don't, you don't do any swapping like that. Right, reset into this, uh, half-half. Now, these look like little spread mechanics. Everyone spread out. Yep. I see why my friends chose this fight for me, because it seems like, uh, quite readable. There's still a couple things where I'm a bit like, huh. But it does seem quite readable. So this is the boulders again, so we want to not be in those two halves. And then we have a soak. So you want to stack up there as a team. Cool. Yeah, I think so, Manu, yeah. Probably getting close to some kind of P3, right? I imagine it's going to be a three-phase boss. What up, Exavos? How you doing, dude? This is a cool fight, though. Okay, so the spirit things fly off again, so we're going to need to read the room and know who goes first. The only thing I don't get is knowing who does go first. Maybe it's in the order that they move out from the boss. So this one flies backwards... Then this one flies out. Then that one, that one. So it should be this one first. Then that one, then that one, then that one. Yeah? And then we have a soak mechanic at the same time. So we soak and then move. Oh, wait, no. Maybe it's in reverse order. So maybe it's that one, then that one. Like north, west, east, south. No. I have no idea how they know the order. Somebody got clipped there. Uh-oh. Are oh, you going to get clipped again? Yeah, dead. See ya. You just missed the first one? Nah, because look. Hold on, hold on. So they fly out of the boss here. So the first shade to fly out... Oh, it is the one up top first. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. It is the first one up, up top. Look at that. Ready? Now. And he flies that way. Okay, so I was correct. I just got it wrong. Right, so it's that one first, then the bottom one. Oh, that seems quite easy. Then move stack over here. Then it was... I can't remember which one it is now. It's that one at the back. This one. Cool. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, the summoner died. No. Orpheus, please get Carbuncle back in the action. I can't wait to get Carbuncle in, man. Some people on the YouTube comments from my previous video were telling me that, like, he's just a bit shit and you don't actually use him. But I'm going to. I will. It's a 15-year-old child's video game. I'm sure I can play whatever I want. Okay, so we're going back to the tank frontals. Yep. The boss, the bosses seem to really give... Like, they telegraph what they're going to do. They, they, they are showing you, like, what they're going to do next. Very, very well. You can see the boss just, like, literally line up with the tank and then be like... So this is P3? Or he's doing a big attack?
I don't know if this is a coordinated group or not. Because when, when was when was this made? This was made... Oh, one month ago. Extreme peel. I don't know what any of that stuff means. Uh, I assume that this is with a group of people that all know each other. They Maybe they're on Discord or what, but like... Everyone knows where they're, where they're supposed to be. Yeah, we had a couple deaths, but... So everyone spread out. And now this one, again, this one, I don't know. Because the arrows are pointing in all th three directions for each one of them. It pushes you out from the boss, right? Or is it from the center of the room? So that's why you have someone... Like, this guy's going to get pushed that way. This guy's going to get pushed that way. And then I can't... There's, like, another guy here somewhere that's going to get pushed. Oh, wait, no, there's only two. This guy's going to get pushed this way. This guy's going to get pushed. But we want to soak these. I don't know. This guy's getting pushed left. 100%. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Okay. So tanks get pushed, and then two non-tanks get pushed. That's how we know. I figured out the mechanic. Mechanics. I could play this fight. I could play this fight with my dick tied behind my back at this point. Yeah, so tanks. Get, so yeah, there's one of the tanks, right? LW? Nope. That's a lie. Uh, Which one's the tank? Here's the tank. And here's the other tank. But he positions there, but still gets pushed that way. Hold on, I'm watching this lad. Oh no, he had the mechanic on him. Then I don't know. Oh, that was a cheeky little hit on him. Everybody died there, what the hell happened? Too many people, people got knocked into it and soaked when they shouldn't have. That's how they died. And then this guy just gets glacked. Oh, full complete group battle res. Yep. Okay, tank soaks, like individual soaks. What do you guys think of this fight? I think I think this is a pretty cool fight. Like if the raids are like this uh, in fun of fancy, like this could be really exciting to to jump into. I know I, like I say I've got some IRL friends who are really excited about doing statics and stuff and want to want to get that going on. I got a couple friends who just started playing Fun of Fancy as well. They've just started a few days like a week ago or so. Right, so we're going to watch these again. So they're going to go in that particular order, and we do the soaks. Yeah, you can do reses, right? But you get, like, a penalty for resing, right? You get, like, a damage penalty. Uh, uh, Carbunk is mostly just cosmetic uh, friend that turns into other friends. But he's still the MVP. Yeah, I like Carbuncle. He's why I want to play Summoner. Damage down for a bit. Ah, uh, that's the time it damage down. So tank frontals again. Res mage. I've heard that res mage isn't very good. I watch. I watch like. Uh, I look at pint tweets and stuff. And I see Pint tweeting out about it not being too good. I assume OK Mage is playing Red Mage as well, right? Because I know, like, seeing them uh, meet up at, like, whatever, TwitchCon or whatever. I remember seeing some of, one of them tweet out about Red, uh, like, Red Mage and stuff. Yeah, cool fight. There's not a new phase, is there? Yeah, no, okay, that is the end of the fight. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's that's a cool looking fight. It seems simplistic enough. Like, I feel like you'd get that figured out maybe in a, like, I've watched one 10 minute video and 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 it makes sense completely to me, um, more or less. There's a couple things I'm still a bit like, oh, I don't quite know how they knew that was gonna happen. But I feel like, uh, obviously, if you're progressing this blind, it would be quite a fun boss to prog. You probably figure it out pretty quick though, right? I don't know how difficult this is. It's an extreme. So I assume this is like quite hard, but in terms of mechanical execution, I think it seems pretty reasonable. Seems pretty cool. I like it. Uh, so who's this? This was Hungry Chad. 